Good morning. It is the Thursday, the 2nd of January, 2020. 2020. It's uh, got, really, New Year, so um, I'm going to bring you a little bit of a unboxing, I guess, is what we, we're going to call it. Uh, the, the whole reason for this video, the other day, uh, Captain Dave at the Centurion's Review was unboxing the old um, ambush module, Move Out. And in there, there was a advertisement, which are always great to look at. And some of the James Bond stuff was in there. And uh, I was, uh, believe it or not, when James Bond, the uh, in Her Majesty's service, that was the RPG. When that came out, um, I, it fell into my hands some kind of way. And I actually played that, and I played several of, uh, other of the modules. As a matter of fact, I have a bunch of that stuff in a three-ring binder somewhere. Uh, a lot of the backs of the stuff tore off. I, I played that and, and, and actually <laughs> thought that was a cool RPG. Um, you know, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not the biggest RPG in the world. I'll, I'll tell you, I liked uh, some uh, a lot of the RPGs I liked were more like a uh, Barbarian Prince, if you remember that from <laughs> Dwarf Star Games. But I, I do play RPGs from time to time, uh, especially when I, you have friends that like that like to play them. And that James Bond stuff was always cool with me. I thought that it was a great theme, a great world to to play in. Um, some of it can be a bit. You know, story game much before story games really, but it was a uh, it was a pretty it's a pretty good system and um, and I had bought this years ago and it was the James Bond 007 Assault game, uh, a complete board game for you. This is why this is you know a complete board game for use uh, alone or with the James Bond 007 role playing game. And I thought that was cool. For whatever reason, I never used it either. I never played it um, as a war game or never used it in, a, in an RPG. Um, uh, but as you can see, complexity medium ain't that it ain't that high and the solitaire low. Um, time scale. Approximately 30 seconds per turn. That's cool. Map scale. Four scenarios. In, 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 yeah, look at that. Four scenarios, uh, including um, introductory and grand tactical scenarios. Game designed by Gerard Christopher Klug. A complete assault system for James Bond. Yeah, we already said that. Using the famous movie Assault on the Secret rocket house from you only live twice oh, that's, that's cool the james bond 007 assault game creates a unique gosh opportunity for the for role players and simulation gamers to come together in a fast-paced exciting game of commando combat one player assuming the role of the deadly Carl, uh, Scor uh, Scorpios, yeah, it's the Scorpios, that's right, and villainous, and his, and his villainous band must successfully launch, uh, gosh, I think I got one, the uh, doctor, <laughs> his rocket from the, from the secret volcano house, the other player, base, house, base, the other player, uh, controlling James Bond, Tiger Tanaka, um, Kissy, Kissy Suzuki and their intrepid ninja band must make the perilous descent from high atop the base to foil the evil plan. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Let's see what this is. I've looked at it before. I've took it out. This, uh, yeah. Let's let's look at it and see what what came what, what comes with it. Yeah, well, two D tens. Non-inked D10s. Uh, 
you know, I can do with dust that are not um, interesting looking as long as they're inked. I need a, I need them to be inked. Well, there's a chip right there. Chip's coming up right here. Well, chips are coming off. I don't think I punched this game. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not sure I have it. What's this here? That's the Bond uh, Assault Range Stick. Okay. Medium lane, wrong range. That's right. All right. We got the rules. Where's the map at here? Oh. Well, they're coming apart. I don't think I ever punched them. There's the counters, but they are coming apart. Uh, what are they? Level one. They've, um, counter sheet three, that's the gallery, okay, um, I've, well, yeah, it's been with me, moved with me, this particular game, believe it or not, I think it was in, was in my house in Ecuador, I never played it, so, with all the moving and all the, they're coming off there. With all the moving and with all the, um, what are those? Stun, stun counter, okay. And morale, morale and stun counter, that's cool. And the humidity of this, they've been in and out of, no telling. I'm amazed that they're as together as they are. That is your individual weapon. Weapon. I believe these had some weapons that didn't exist as well as, you know. Matter of fact, I know it does. It's James Bond stuff, so. Let me put those shits in there. Yeah, you get a good idea of them. Uh, chits are bad, actually. You know, they're, they're I guess, what is that? A little bigger than a half, what is that, five, eight inch, I guess? And they're, they're not bad. I can deal with them. My victory games always had a bit better production quality than their predecessor, SPI. Oh, I love victory games. I love the SPI games, still do. Oh, by God, I like them. All right. <coughs> oh, yay. My tail. My dog's been really barking. It's just beautiful weather outside. He wants to go out and bark. And, uh, but here's the map. Well, I get it open here. I do remember it was a map. There it is. There's the base. It was a map where elevation mattered. You know, you had to drop down from the top into the base. I've read rules. I just haven't ever played it. I've read some rules. There's the map. Ah, the map's okay. Um, but I do remember a lot of it had to do here. It's not a hex map. It's, um, um, they're, they're, they're squares, not hexes, but that's okay. I mean, um, I don't have to, you don't have to be a hex if it makes sense to do it as a, Square. Look at some of these rules real fast. Contents. Let's see. Sequence of play. Let's look at this sequence of play here. Page five. I hear it should be played about sequence of play. In my six movement, in my movement phase, in my six fire phase, in my six command phase, Scorpio's movement phase, Scorpio's fire phase, Scorpio's command phase. Okay, that's pretty simple. Combat, fire, and procedures, stacking. There's your damage tip results tables. 
that's your your um, multiplication table for your uh, chance. These are you you I've played with some of these before. Your wound accumulation chart, quality results table. That's kind of cool. Grenade scatter diagram. Movement point cost table. I always like movement point costs. How they how they down ramp up ramp. I, I, I do like games where you're looking at different levels. And this is coming from a bird's eye view. It's it's hard to see that, but you know that's as that's the exhaust pit, the prep room. These blueprinted ones, I do believe white ones are lower than the red ones and uh, something like that. Ah. Roof edge. You got those counters there. Huh. You know, I haven't thought of this. I haven't, I've thought of a couple, a few years ago, I ran across uh, one of them, the module. I was... I was in Manta, Manta, Ecuador, and I ran across one of the modules of my house in Ecuador, and I was just started fooling around. That was, it had to be, I guess, before September 2009, so we're talking over 10 years now. But uh, I was, I was um, pl playing around with character creation and stuff with it, with it. Um, I don't know, yeah, but, so... Character data summary, Tiger Tanaka, Casey Suzuki. There's your, that's your characters. Um, I didn't see, there, 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 there should be individual chits to represent all those people there. And I guess there are, I haven't, I haven't, surely haven't lost chits here, or lost counters here. Just yeah, well, they're in there somewhere. I ain't gonna give you the time. You know, I just, well, no, I just wanted to. I haven't thought about James Bond stuff in a while. The, the James, and this was a game that I never got to play. I thought was pretty cool, but it's a James Bond assault game. Yeah, there it is. I don't know what it runs to find. I, like I said, I had this for years. I, I, you know, I paid nothing for, or I'm next to nothing for it when I got it, compared to a lot of the prices nowadays. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it runs. I don't know what it'll find you. Um, if you could find that, if if you know, I wouldn't mind running a campaign of the old RPG now just to see how dated it is. But yeah, there it is, people. Well, interesting stuff. Yeah, Victory Games, uh, their, their um, 007 stuff sold real well, as well as, I believe the best-selling game for Victory Games, believe it or not, was Dr. Ruth Westheimer's um, Game of Good Sex. I do believe that was the best-selling game. Uh, and it's kind of understandable. She was kind of popular back then, so... All right, people. Y'all have a great day. Have a great new year. Get some good gaming in this weekend coming up. Relax. Just don't don't take anything too awfully serious. You know, uh, nothing. A couple of die rolls can't. A couple of rolls of a couple of dice can't uh, can't help. All right, now be good. Bye bye.